Welcome to our online service of healing on this January 18th. We offer this service to provide a way to create space for God's divine presence in your life. And now we take a moment to center ourselves and take some deep breaths, breathing in the presence of our loving God. We come together on this day in the name of our Holy Trinity. Amen. In the wilderness, water brings life. Seek us out, O oh God, and take us to the water. In the word of God, the good news gives light. Seek us out, O oh God, and fill us with understanding. Here is the water of life, the word that feeds and the food of eternity Come and praise creation that provides abundance. Let us pray. O oh God, as you, by your Holy Spirit, enabled your servant, Antony, to withstand the temptations of the world, the flesh, and the devil, so give us grace to follow you with pure hearts and minds through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from Psalm 91. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, you are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord your refuge. And the Most High, your habitation. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering for my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Hear the good news on this day from the Gospel of Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. He said to him, Teacher, I have kept all these since my youth. Jesus looked at him, loved him, and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell what you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Lord Christ. On this day, we celebrate and commemorate the life of Antony of Egypt. He is considered to be, um, by many, one of the uh, first uh, monks in the church. And so we hear this lesson from the Gospel of Mark about giving up our possessions so we can grow closer in our relationship to God. For it's in those possessions oftentimes that we make idols and we find ourselves putting stuff ahead of God, which means that our path in life um, 
goes from being uh, can go from being something that is simple to something that's very complicated because of our various allegiances to things and people with things because of our possessions. God's directive to us, God's commandment to love first and foremost, requires us to make a sacrifice like God's self did on the cross. And that sacrifice is the very place where we're going to find the deepest joy in our lives. It's a paradox. That's why when people are struggling um, in their lives, oftentimes they're given the advice of, Go find a place to volunteer, um, even if it's for an hour or two to take our focus off of ourselves and put it on to somebody else, somebody who is in need. So today, as we think about the life and the witness of Antony of Egypt so long ago, uh, as uh, in, the, in the hills and um, and deserts of Egypt. We think about the many gifts that we might have in our lives, the many possessions that we have in our lives. We give thanks for them, but we also recognize that we can probably do without a few of them or a number of them. And so on this day, we consider paying it forward. And maybe we do have uh, the same response as the student had on this day with Jesus. When he heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. We don't know if he actually gave these possessions away, but if he is going to find that deep joy, that connectedness to all the world, he sure did. We affirm our faith as we say together. We believe in God above us, creator of all things, sustainer of all life. We believe in Christ beside us, companion and friend, redeemer of all the broken pieces of our universe. We believe in spirit deep within us, advocate and guide who lives with us eternally. We believe in God's resurrection created world where all things are fixed and all creation fits together in vibrant harmonies. We believe in God above, beside, within. God yesterday, today, and forever. The three and one, the one and three. Amen. We pray this day for healing and forgiveness. From squandering resources, abusing our companion species, and polluting the habitat we all share, heal us. From the folly of imagining ourselves free from the fate of your whole creation, heal us. For repentance and the determination to begin our stewardship anew, heal us. O oh, merciful creator, your hand is open wide. Bring us into the life that you desire for us of forgiveness and reconciliation. You are forgiven this day so that you may forgive others. Continue your journey of faith knowing that you are surrounded by love. Amen. Lord, turn our praises into hands that clothe the naked, arms that comfort the afflicted, tables that host the stranger, and shoulders that support the weary, so that your name may be praised by those who live and die. We give you thanks and praise, O God of creation, for the grandeur of all that you have made, saying, We thank you, God. We give you thanks and praise, O God of love, for the many blessings you have given us, saying, We thank you, God. We thank you, O God of second chances, for the forgiveness you bestow on us during our darkest times, saying, We thank you, God. We thank you, O God of companionship, for the relationships and partnerships you have blessed us with, saying, we thank you, God. We pray for the people, land, water, air, flora, and fauna, and creatures of all the earth, 
especially today we pray for Cuba. Gracious God, make us always thankful for your loving providence and grant that we, remembering the account that we must one day give, may be faithful stewards of your good gifts. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. We pray together. Eternal Spirit, life giver, pain bearer, love maker, source of all that is and that shall be, Father and Mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings. Your kingdom of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth. With the bread that we need for today, feed us. For the hurts that we inflict on one another, forgive us. In times of temptation and test, strengthen us. From trials too great to endure, spare us. From the grip of all that is evil, free us. For you reign in the glory of the power that is love now and forever. Amen. Go from this servant with joy, securely abiding as branches of the true vine. Go and tell the story of faith that is given to you by the one who will never let you go. Seek out those who abound with sacred questions and be ready to answer a mystery with love. The wisdom of love and grace of God strengthen you to be God's hands and heart in this world of ours and the blessing of God Almighty, our creator, redeemer, and sustainer, be with you today and remain with you always. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Go in peace, tend to your spirit and those you encounter today. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Have a blessed day.